So I've slightly lost my voice, so if you can't hear me, I do apologize. Oh, there it is. So, Arthur, at this point, you got to experience time travel in a number of different ways. Uh, do you prefer Rip, Rip's methods or Docker's methods or different well, methods? Wow, well, they both have their, uh, their downsides and their upsides, really. Um, I think it's such a fascinating thing to explore, and I think. Uh, I can't really say too much about it, but especially in this show, it's quite, it's a very cool way in which we travel with each other. So, yeah, yeah, but it, and it's different to, to the stuff that's been seen. So how does Rip Hunter interact with the team? Does he go into the action or is he like someone on the sidelines saying, go team? No, absolutely, <laughs> he's very much in the action. Um, which is great, a great challenge for me, and I, I'm really enjoying it. But I kind of see it as like herding cats. There's, there's, there's so many massive personalities there that he's got together and he's trying to get them to trust him, and he's not the most trustworthy person in the world. I think he starts with good intentions, and I think he very quickly falls apart. It. Um, it creates quite an interesting dynamic of. of Trust and mistrust and um, interesting partnerships. Uh, I, I think I can say that. Yes. Do you so, go back if you're playing a character like this? Do you go back and look at some of the old comic books to sort of find out more about yeah, these, or does that way live map? No, I think I think that's. I think you never you can never know too much. Mm. You know what I mean? And also, for research for my job, I could sit at my in my house in my underwear reading comics, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, like, it's, it's I can go, sorry, I can't come out, I'm working. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I had a great time. But it's really interesting what, seeing the different ways that Rip's been portrayed in the comic books throughout history, and I think, um, I think he's changed quite a lot. I mean, they've used him as a tool depending on what they've needed him to do in the story. So it's the way that these guys have written him takes a lot of, of what he is, that very kind of much kind of action adventure kind of going in all gung ho, but I think there's a lot more depth to him than they've written, which is a very exciting thing to, to have to develop in the character. Because he has gone through all these changes in the comics, yeah. uh, and they have their vision for the show, does it leave you any room to kind of play with them as well? Definitely, yeah, and I feel, you know, these guys are so good at what they do, and they get really. They've got such an interesting bunch of actors, but we all feel very trusted in in what we want to, in where we want to take the, take the characters. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an absolute honour to be able to do that. With so you compared it to like herding cats, but is he looking at the team going, "I came back to put these people together"? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> like he's put them all together for a reason. Do you know what I mean? Like he's. He's got a plan, whether it was a good plan or not is yet to be seen, but they've... Oh God, I can't say it. Good. Um, yeah. <laughs> the fact that we're fighting Vandal Savage, I mean, what an amazing thing to have to be able to do, but he's, he's pretty elusive and, and difficult to, to fight. He needs that kind of muscle with him. Cool. So Vandal's such a great villain, uh, but you know, in your research and going through all the past comics, did you encounter any villains that you hope to encounter on the show? Oh, I'm not sure. I think Vandal's enough for the moment, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think if we threw any more in the mix, we'd have to do more than 16 episodes of it. Uh, yeah. Does Vandal and Rip Hunter have a past before this show, or are we going to explore it? I not say too much about it, <laughs> but Rip does travel through time and Vandal is immortal, so they have, you know, there is, there has been some interaction. The interesting thing about your character, though, is there's a lot of sort of physically based characters in the show, yeah. and yours is one of these sort of the thinking yeah. characters. If there's a problem, he's not going to sort of get into a fight, he's actually going to think his way through it. Well, yes and no, but also, he's, the, the world in which he's come from in the future, I think everyone has to very much know how to look after themselves. It's kind of all for the 
umpire, so he's not afraid to get in there and, and do what needs to be done, but knows that he's not the best at it, if that makes sense. So he's got these people together because they're experts in their own field. But an interesting challenge for me as an actor is that I can, I've had to kind of get in there and do some. I've lost my voice because I was doing a fight scene for Oshawa Bay the other day in the hottest studio in the world, just screaming my way through it. It's, uh, you know, he's not afraid to get his hands dirty, which is, uh, which is a, a great challenge. Do you have to do any training for some of the fight scenes? Yeah, you'd think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have an amazing stunt double as well. He's brilliant, Matt, who looks just like me. So actually, when you think of me being very cool, it's actually probably, it's probably him. Uh, but yeah, no, I've done a bit of training. That will continue. Yeah. Uh, totally, we've heard from other people in the cast that's gonna, you know, there's a comedic edge to it. Uh, for your character, are you more serious father figure, or are you kind of fall in line with the comedic? Do you know what? There's, he is serious. He is very serious, I think. But uh, kind of with everything that I do, whether it's right or wrong, uh, I try and. I think you can't have that darkness without the lightness. Do you know what I mean? You only care about someone if you see the other side of it. There's a lot of, you know, he is a, he is a thinker and he is an ideas man and his brain works very very fast and he's trying to keep these people together. And there's a lot of his frustration comes out. And I think it's quite funny watching people when they're kind of at the end of their tether. So that's been a really interesting thing too. To explore, but no, there is. He is quite dark, which I'm really enjoying doing. And I'm, my natural tendency is to try and make everything funny, so there is also uh, a bit of lightness in there as well. So, what character does Rip Hunter have the best interaction with that you are really looking forward for fans seeing? I really like him with, um, uh, well, with, with Dominic and Wentworth because they're so. They're such big personalities, and you know he's got them together as a, in a team of heroes. It's not going to go particularly well, is it? With them. So uh, you know, there's a lot of fun stuff with with those, two. but with everyone. Were you a DC Comics fan before this, or are you sort of a, a late convert to it now? Um, I'd read some Batmans and, um, and loved those before I started and then when they offered me the job they sent me a ton of comics and I've got really into it since then. Um, but yeah, the Batmans were the ones that I really read before and now I'm totally sucked in. Uh, I'm, I'm a confidence. Now is there like a breaking in period with the team? Kind of like all working together for the first time and yeah. with their different personalities. You said it's like herding cats. Is uh is it we heard it's also like almost a brotherly kind of relationship and brothers don't always get along yeah, kind of absolutely. thing. Absolutely. I mean in terms of what Rip's plan is at the beginning, I think it's uh, advantageous to him to go straight in and go, hey we're all together, he's not gonna to get to sit around and kind of discuss it very much. It's like, right, let's go and do it. So it's kind of baptism by fire, really. They, they, they learn how each other work through action rather than through sitting around and talking about it. So yeah, they jump straight in, which is, which is an exciting thing to me. So as an actor, I'm sure you're looking for interesting characters all the time. Yeah. But did you think that you would be doing time travel again? I really didn't. <laughs> and when they, when I found out about it, they were like, oh, it's time travel. I was like, no, oh, well, I've done that. And then I read the part and spoke to them. And it's so wildly different to anything I've done. And it's such a big, different challenge. It's such a different role and a brilliantly written role that I just couldn't, I couldn't say no to it. And it's, you know, I quite like time travel. Like Back to the Future is definitely in my top five movies. Uh, I, I, I love dealing with all this stuff. I, never heard of it. I grew up on this. They are actually like, there's some really, Indiana Jones moments in this show as well. Uh, 
we were doing a scene the other day and I was sort of just surra- everything was on fire and I was just looking around just going this is great I'm living out a lot of my childhood fantasies by, by doing this job judging from your accent there's probably a bit of uh, Doctor Who in your DNA well there well. are absolutely definitely so and, and you know having done that show for a while has been uh, was, was great but this, this, is, this is something very different for me Thank you. Thank you so much.